The year is 1207, and I find myself far from the Caribbean, embroiled in a battle unlike any I've ever faced before. We're pirates, scouring the seas for treasure and adventure, but the horrors we encounter on this fateful night are beyond our wildest nightmares. The moon casts an eerie glow over the waters as our ship, the Black Serpent, plows through the dark waves. My name is Captain Jonathan Drake, and I command this vessel, a crew of fearless men who have seen it all. We've braved storms, battled rival pirates, and escaped the clutches of the British Navy, but nothing could prepare us for what lurks on the horizon. It begins with an otherworldly light emanating from the sky. A luminous green hue, like nothing I've ever seen before, bathes the sea in an eerie glow. The men murmur and cast fearful glances at one another. We've heard tales of strange lights in the sky, but we've always dismissed them as mere superstitions. Captain, what be that? One of the crewmen, a seasoned sailor by the name of Blackbeard, asks. I squint at the unearthly glow. I know not, but I intend to find out. Ready the cannons, lads. As we approach the source of the strange light, our ship shudders and groans as if in agony. It feels as though we're being pulled toward the light against our will, as if some unseen force has taken control of our vessel. Panic spreads among the crew, and men scramble to their posts, desperate to regain control of our ship. Suddenly, the sea itself seems to part, revealing a massive metallic craft hovering above the water. The alien vessel is like none I've ever seen, a grotesque amalgamation of sharp angles and eerie pulsating lights. The crew erupts in fear, and some of the men fall to their knees, praying for salvation. But there's no escape. The Black Serpent is drawn inexorably toward the alien craft, and before we can react, a beam of light descends from the vessel, engulfing our ship in an otherworldly radiance. The men scream as the light envelops them, and then, in an instant, we find ourselves aboard the alien ship. The transition is disorienting. We're no longer on the Black Serpent, but trapped within a cold, metallic chamber. The air is stale, and the alien walls seem to pulsate with a sinister life of their own. My crew is huddled together, their faces contorted with fear and confusion. By the devil's beard, Blackbeard mutters, we're in hell. As we struggle to comprehend our surroundings, the aliens reveal themselves. They are grotesque creatures, unlike anything from the tales of the high seas. Taller than men, their bodies are composed of a sickly green, slimy material. Their limbs are long and sinewy, ending in grotesque, multi-fingered hands. Their heads are elongated, and their eyes are large and soulless, staring at us with a malevolent intelligence. One of the aliens approaches, and its mouth opens to reveal rows of sharp, needle-like teeth. It speaks in a guttural, incomprehensible language, and I shudder at the sound. It points a strange device at me, and a beam of energy courses through my body. The pain is excruciating, and I fall to the cold alien floor, unable to move. The aliens continue their experiments, subjecting my crew to the same torturous procedures. Some of my men scream, while others fall silent, their spirits broken. I can do nothing to save them, and it fills me with a helpless rage. Hours pass, though it's impossible to tell for certain in the timeless void of the alien ship. Finally, the aliens seem to lose interest in us, and they depart, leaving us in our wretched state. I crawl over to Blackbeard, who lies motionless on the floor. Blackbeard, I whisper, we need to find a way out of this nightmare. He opens his eyes, and they are filled with a haunted distant look. Aye, Captain, but I fear there be no escape. We're prisoners of the stars. I refuse to accept such a fate. With what little strength I have left, I prop myself up and scan our surroundings. There, in a corner of the chamber, I spot a strange device, unlike any we've ever encountered. It's a control panel of some sort, adorned with alien symbols and buttons. Summoning the last of my strength, I crawl over to the panel and begin to press the buttons at random. Lights and alarms blare, and the chamber trembles as if in response. My crew watches in amazement, their despair momentarily forgotten. Suddenly, a portal appears in the chamber's wall, and a rush of cold, fresh air fills our lungs. It's our way out, our path to freedom. I help my men to their feet, and together, we make a desperate dash for the portal. But as we reach the threshold, the aliens return, their mouths agape with fury. They advance on us, their strange weapons at the ready. In that fateful moment, I realize that escape is impossible, that we are doomed to be their prisoners for all eternity. 
the last thing I see is the cruel, toothy grin of the alien who captured us, and then, everything goes dark. The Black Serpent and her crew are lost to the cosmos, a mere memory of a time when we roamed the seas as free men. The aliens have won, and we are their playthings, destined to endure their torment for all eternity. As the darkness consumes me, I can't help but wonder if there are other worlds out there, other pirates and adventurers who will one day fall victim to the same horrifying fate. And I can only hope that somewhere, somehow, someone will rise to defy these otherworldly invaders and put an end to their reign of terror. Until then, we are the ghostly remnants of a bygone era, lost in the void of the universe, forever tormented by the merciless aliens who stole us away from the sea. Thank you.